Do you know what foods to avoid when taking dexamethasone? In the next 10 minutes, we'll be revealing the top foods that could potentially cause complications when combined with this medication. Dexamethasone is a type of corticosteroid often prescribed for an array of conditions, from allergies to autoimmune diseases, and even certain types of cancer. But just like any other medication, it comes with its own set of guidelines, including what to eat and what not to eat. The foods we consume can significantly impact how our bodies respond to such medications. It's crucial to be aware of this, as it can help maximize the drug's efficacy and minimize unwanted side effects. So whether you're currently taking dexamethasone or know someone who does, this information is vital. Now without further ado, let's dive into the list of foods to be cautious of when taking dexamethasone. First on our list is high sodium foods. Picture this. It's lunchtime, and you're eyeing that microwavable meal, or considering a quick run to the nearest fast food joint. But hold on, if you're taking dexamethasone, you might want to think twice about that choice. High sodium foods, such as processed meats, canned soups and fast food, aren't exactly the best companions for this medication. But why is that? Well, let's take a quick dive into the science of it all. Sodium, as you may know, plays a crucial role in maintaining fluid balance in our bodies. However, when consumed in excess, it can lead to water retention. This can increase the volume of blood flowing through our veins and arteries, causing an uptick in blood pressure. Now, here's where dexamethasone comes into play. This medication, while effective for a variety of conditions, can also cause fluid retention and increase blood pressure. When combined with a high sodium diet, the risk of elevated blood pressure becomes even greater. This can put unnecessary stress on your heart and kidneys, and potentially lead to serious health complications down the road. So what can you do? Start by being mindful of your food choices. Opt for fresh, whole foods whenever possible. If you do need to rely on canned or processed foods, look for low-sodium or no-salt-added versions. Try to limit your consumption of fast food, which is often laden with hidden sodium. Remember, while it may be convenient to grab that packet of instant noodles or order a large pizza, the potential health implications are far from worth it. As they say, good health is true wealth. And it's not just about avoiding certain foods, it's also about embracing a healthier lifestyle overall. Regular exercise, adequate hydration and a balanced diet can all contribute to maintaining optimal blood pressure levels, even when you're on medications like dexamethasone. So, think twice before reaching for that fast food menu. Next up, caffeinated drinks. Picture this, it's early in the morning and you're reaching for that comforting cup of coffee. Or perhaps it's mid-afternoon and you're looking for an energy boost from a fizzy caffeinated soda. But if you're taking dexamethasone, it might be time to rethink these daily rituals. You see, caffeine is a stimulant. It perks us up, keeps us alert, but it also has a significant impact on our body's stress response, increasing the production of a hormone called cortisol. Now, under normal circumstances, this isn't a problem. But when you're taking dexamethasone, a corticosteroid medication, things can get a bit complicated. Dexamethasone is designed to mimic the effects of cortisol, helping to reduce inflammation and suppress the immune system. But when we consume caffeinated drinks, we're essentially flooding our system with additional cortisol-like activity, which can interfere with the effectiveness of dexamethasone. This can potentially exacerbate symptoms and may reduce the medication's beneficial effects. It's not just coffee we need to be cautious about. Energy drinks, certain teas, and even some types of chocolate contain caffeine. And it's not always the usual suspects either. Some medications, particularly over-the-counter pain relievers and cold medicines, can contain caffeine too. So it's always a good idea to check the labels. But don't worry, there are alternatives. Decaffeinated coffee and teas are an option, although they do still contain trace amounts of caffeine. Herbal teas on the other hand, particularly rooibos and chamomile, are naturally caffeine-free and can be a soothing alternative. Even something as simple as water infused with fresh fruits or herbs can be a refreshing change. It's all about making mindful choices, understanding how what we consume can affect our health and the effectiveness of our medications is a step towards better management 
of our overall well-being. So, the next time you're reaching for that caffeinated pick-me-up, consider an alternative. Remember, it might be best to stick to water or herbal tea. Another significant one to avoid is alcohol. Now you might be wondering, why alcohol? Well, the answer lies in how it interacts with dexamethasone. When we consume alcohol, it's not just about the immediate effects we feel. Yes, the temporary feelings of relaxation or euphoria might be enticing, but what's happening behind the scenes is a different story. Alcohol can interfere with how our bodies process medication, and this is particularly true for dexamethasone. So what happens when you mix dexamethasone and alcohol? First off, you may experience an increase in the drug's side effects. Dexamethasone can cause issues like upset stomach, trouble sleeping, mood swings, and even increased blood sugar levels. Mix that with alcohol, and you're potentially amplifying these effects. You might find yourself dealing with more intense mood swings, having more difficulty sleeping, or even experiencing more severe stomach issues. But that's not all. The effectiveness of dexamethasone can also be compromised when mixed with alcohol. This medication is designed to help reduce inflammation and suppress the immune system, especially in cases of severe allergies, arthritis, asthma, and certain types of cancer. But when alcohol comes into play, it can interfere with the drug's ability to do its job effectively. This means you might not get the relief or treatment you need, which of course is the last thing you want when dealing with a health issue. Moreover, both alcohol and dexamethasone can put a strain on your liver. Your liver works hard to process both substances, and over time, this can lead to liver damage. This is another reason why it's so important to avoid alcohol when you're on dexamethasone. In conclusion, while a glass of wine or a cold beer might seem like a harmless indulgence, it's crucial to remember that when it comes to medication, especially something as potent as dexamethasone, every choice we make matters. So it's wise to avoid that glass of wine while on dexamethasone. Lastly, we have grapefruit and other citrus fruits. Now, who doesn't love a refreshing bowl of citrus fruits on a hot day or a glass of grapefruit juice to start the morning? However, when you're taking dexamethasone, you might need to put that love aside for a while. You see, grapefruit and some other citrus fruits contain compounds known as furanocumarins. These naturally occurring substances can interfere with the enzymes in your body that break down certain medications, including dexamethasone. When these enzymes can't do their job properly, it can lead to an increase in the levels of the medication in your blood. And while in some circumstances, more might mean better, when it comes to medication, it's a different story. Having too much dexamethasone in your blood can increase your risk of experiencing side effects. These side effects can range from mild, such as increased hunger, to more severe, like high blood pressure or blood sugar levels. So while grapefruit and other citrus fruits like Seville oranges, limes and pomelos are packed with vitamin C and are generally healthy, they can potentially cause problems when combined with dexamethasone. It's important to note that not all citrus fruits have this effect. Oranges, lemons and tangerines, for example, are usually safe to consume while on this medication. But it's always best to talk to your doctor or pharmacist before making any significant changes to your diet especially when you're on medication. In conclusion, while we understand the appeal of a juicy grapefruit or a tangy lime, it's best to steer clear of these fruits while taking dexamethasone. Remember, your health is a priority, and it's crucial to take your medication as prescribed and follow any dietary recommendations given by your healthcare provider. As much as you might love your morning grapefruit, it's best to avoid it while on dexamethasone. To recap, we've explored some foods and beverages that may not mesh well with dexamethasone. High-sodium foods can exacerbate the drug's side effects, causing water retention and high blood pressure. Caffeine, too, can interfere with dexamethasone, potentially causing jitteriness and sleeplessness. Alcohol is another one to avoid, as it can increase the risk of stomach ulcers, and citrus fruits, especially grapefruits, can interact with dexamethasone, affecting the way the drug is absorbed in your body. In essence, it's all about balance and being aware of what you consume when on this medication. It's crucial to remember that everyone's body reacts differently, and what might work for one person might not work for another. 
Make sure to discuss your diet with your healthcare provider when taking dexamethasone, as they can provide personalized advice based on your specific health situation. Remember, your health is worth making these small dietary adjustments. Stay healthy and informed.